To better understand brand identity, let's look at three companies and I'm going to be going over their website and social media platforms because this will allow us to see things like the types of imagery, the types of fonts, colors, those types of choices that these companies are making. The point is that these companies do a great job at having an identity that goes across websites, across platform. And that's what you should be trying to do with your own brand. Come up with styles that you can use with every type of platform. First, we're going to look at Tom's. We've already looked at Tom's a little bit before. And then we're going to look at two new companies too. Here's Tom's website. Nice images, clean. They use that light blue color that's in their logo, which is this sort of like Tom's flag. Lots of black and white, lots of images from how they give by taking photos of people that they give shoes to, give glasses to. This is just their home page, but if you go across any of their pages, it's going to look similar too. And that's a good thing to remember too, is across your website, your website should look very similar. When you go to their YouTube channel, and I'm just going to play through their commercial that they put out recently, you can also see they're using that logo at the start. You know, talk about using a logo. This is their logo. It's on their website. It's on their profile pic for YouTube. It's also at the start of their commercial, making that iconic so that people remember what that is when they see it. So nice, beautiful images. We saw their Instagram profile earlier. We got this sort of desaturated look for this imagery, which you also see in their photos as well. High fashion, nice, clean look. And we already saw their Instagram page, but you can see very similar. You go from their YouTube videos to this, totally seamless. Lastly, they've got their Facebook page, again, using the same logo, which is obvious, but a lot of people don't do that. They change up the logo. It might be an old version on one pro profile, a new version on, on another. A lot of these images come from Instagram, so using the same posts on both platforms to get the maximum reach, re-editing uh, videos so that they are square format for Facebook, but using the same video for YouTube as well. Super good. Awesome, let's look at Under Armour. Under Armour is a very different style of company. You see their logo up in the left-hand corner of their website, super simple Under Armour logo. Again, that classic simplicity that is timeless and it is also eye-catching and it's an easy logo to put on clothing. So I'm sure that's something that they were thinking about when they came up with this. Their photos are gritty, they're real. Of course, they have the high fashion product photos, but the rest of the photos, you know, these are real people. It's not just athletes. You know, they've got the athletes, but they've also got photos of just normal people. One thing that I love, let me go back to their homepage, is that on their homepage and all of their profiles, what they do is a big launch. So here's a new line of clothing for what looks like ballet dancers. And so this is at the top of their website. Go to their Twitter page. Big banner is this. Go to their Facebook page, same thing. Cover image is this new line of clothing. So this is a cool idea if you are launching a product or service or you do this semi-frequently, put it across all your social media channels. Lastly, let's look at Virgin America. And I really just wanted to show Virgin America because of their colors. Amazing colors that most brands don't use. These hot, vibrant pinks and purples, teals. You see this across their website. Even when you go on a Virgin America flight, you have those purple lights inside. You go to their Instagram profile, same thing. Even in a some of their advertisements or posts that's not necessarily with the airplane, they're using those same colors as overlays and blending it with real photos and text. Same sort of style across all their graphics. What I suggest is going to your favorite brands, going to all of their social media profiles, their website to see what kinds of things they're doing with their branding styles. Check out their colors, their fonts, the imagery they use, and use it as inspiration for your own marketing plan.